News 18, weather from where you live. Well, the fire weather warning will continue for Benton, Newton and Jasper County till 8 o'clock tonight. Just means that due to the very dry air, the strong winds today, there's a pretty high risk of field fire, uh, field fires with the dry crops curing in the field. And again, that'll expire here very, very soon. Notice the winds kind of gusty today. Uh, generally in about the 20 to perhaps 30 mile per hour range. We just had a gust of 24 here at the station the past hour and 25 at Winnemac. You combine that with the humidity as low as 20 percent and temperatures that are near 70. Yeah, you've got the recipe for a few brush fires with all those drying crops. 70 Remington, 73 Morocco and it's 69 right now at Frankfurt. Notice this little lobe of warmer weather kind of surging in today with that very dry air, but there's a cold front to the north and that will tend to chill it off just a hair tomorrow. Rather than the temperature surging up to 80 degrees, we're going to kind of keep it generally in the lower 70s. The front is about right here. You can see the low. That'll sweep through tomorrow. There's a stronger cold front up in Canada right now. That will arrive Friday and with a little more moisture. It will produce periodic scattered showers and a couple isolated thunderstorms. But tonight, though, just a few clouds with this first front. It is too dry to get any rainfall. We will have to wait until Friday to get any rainfall around here. Tonight, low 50s in the northwest, just ahead of that front to uh, upper 40s and even some mid 40s down in our southeast county. 47 Lafayette, 45 Burlington, and 50 for the low Remington, 48 at Fowler. Now tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, 73 Lafayette, 73 Monticello, 74 Thorntown, and 72 Remington. So the only thing the front's going to do is prevent it from really skyrocketing, uh, skyrocketing in temperature tomorrow. And then Friday with periodic scattered showers and isolated storms around, cooler, 60s in the north, around 71 at Crawfordsville, Ladoga, 70 Thorntown, and 65 at Burlington. Let's track that here on Futurecast. There's the first front coming through early tomorrow morning. No rain expected with that. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, but notice as we get into Friday, here comes some of the scattered showers, perhaps a couple isolated storms during the day moving over the area, but current timing is kind of pulling the rain out of here just in time for the frenzy. Let's hope that indeed happens. Seven day forecast. You know, it is going to get a lot cooler by the weekend. We've got yet another round of patchy frost. Check out the 36 by Sunday morning, 36 on Monday morning before it warms up into the 70s as we get into next week, Jeff and Gina. Right, grab that jacket, Chad. Thank yes. you. Well, just ahead.